Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, I had a request for the new Wet n Wild collection swatches. I used the eyeshadows yesterday. It's not the best formula. It's not the formula from like the eight pans. And it's not the really bad formula they've put out a few times. So it's kind of in between. But I'll show them to you. Okay, so this one is 34889, Will You Marina Me? Okay. It's weird, oh, this time they have it, see how it's like stamped in there? It usually goes through the entire shadow. And the color payoff was, eh, I don't know. I had to like really dig my brush in. Okay. I haven't done my nails, so they're all a hot mess. Okay, so first is the brow bone shade, which got a lot of shimmer in here. This brown is, eh, and this green. I, of course, put the green um, over an eyeliner on my lower lash line. Not bad. Then we have Hieroglyphic Heart. Another shimmer. The crease shade, it is, it's a nice mauve color, but it's dusty. Okay, so those brow bone. And they really don't show up. This is just a crumbly mess. It's just dry and but it works, but you gotta really work it to get it in there. This shade's nice. Okay, I'm also testing on a new foundation today and I'm really not feeling it. I'll show you that one in the next video. The Ulta Hall, of course. Then we have, no, I'm just going to tell you the name, huh? Heart and Heavy. This is another one. Not a lot of payoff in the brow bone shade. The crease isn't bad. And you can see just how, ugh, I don't know. I mean, even on my fingers, the ball's up. I did post pictures of this yesterday on... I think it was yesterday. Instagram. And so they don't swatch the best. I wish they would just stick with the 8-pan formula. Because that formula is so good. And they changed the packaging on this too. This was, like, never here. It used to be just, like, open. But a lot of times with the limited edition, they change it up. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the highlighters, but I'm going to wipe off my arm first of these shadows. I mean, do you need them? I sure don't. <laughs> I mean, I have, you know, plenty of Wet n Wild. But they were there and I had to grab them. I was really hoping this mauve shade here. I got to work it, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's Sunday, doing laundry. Really. The highlighters, eh, I ain't impressed with those either. I had to dig a brush into these. Okay, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Lilac to Reality. And they, the lids don't go back, so you have to... I'll give you a swat. My hand's still dry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My sinuses are killing me. It's one of these days. And then the sweetest bling. I didn't wear this one yet, but I did swatch it. I hate when the lid won't go back. I'll depot them. And it's funny, this photograph's different in all different kinds of light. Sometimes it looks blue, sometimes it looks purple. My camera's pretty good here. You should be able to see. 
I had to stuff a brush into this. And it was probably my Eve Pearl brush here. So with these, I'm going to say use a stiffer. And this isn't even that stiff. I love this brush. To really jam it in there to get some product on it. So here's just the purple. And then I'll just do the center. And yeah, remember, these are swatches. So these are heavy. But the color payoff... It's patchy. They're definitely not even the same formula in the pan. This is a different formula than this is. And then let me blend them together. And that's blended together. But picking up on a brush, it was really a chore. can barely and then oh my god the product that falls off is unbelievable eh I don't know I'm just having one of those funk days I don't know so that was the lilac to reality now we have the sweetest bling so there's a pink and the center is kind of a Yeah, we're gonna do this. Mix them. And there it is, mixed. I think I like the pink one better. I mean, in reality, unless you have a really small highlighting brush, you're not gonna be able to pick up just that center. Unless you're using really, I mean, it'd have to be, there's like a Delium Tools brush, 776, like a fluffy eyeshadow brush would be the only way to pick up out of the center here. Let's see what happens. And there's like nothing. Very light. But highlighters, I mean, they're meant to be built up. I'm just still really on the fence about these. I don't know. I gotta play with them more. But my girl Adrian wanted to see swatches, so Aid, there's your swatches. I mean they're pretty. I mean I'll definitely I know I'm gonna use this as shadow. Just over a purple base. I don't know. I didn't buy any of the other collection. There was like blushes or something, cream blushes. Didn't need them. Eh. I don't know. So be it. <laughs> so that's the new Wet n Wild color icon. The spring 2017. The eyeshadows. I'm going to pick them up here. The highlighting powders. Is that what they're called? Yeah. I'm not horrible. Not great. Just kind of midline for me. Um, I will show you how to pot these though. With my new Z Potter. That I finally got around to playing with the other night and it's amazing. I can't believe how much time I spent with a big lighter and knives and everything depotting these for days and hours and all that and the Z Potter it's like done. It's amazing. I really can't believe how great it is. Okay I'm gonna show you I have a TJ Maxx haul or not TJ Maxx haul. Burlington Coat Factory haul. Ulta haul. Oh, I'll take it over here. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm sure I'll find plenty of stuff for you guys. <laughs> okay, um, hope everyone has a wonderful Sunday, and I will see you all soon. Bye.